Hi, I'm Bob Balch. Thanks for tuning in to my That's Jesus channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you one of the most important lessons that you will ever get about understanding the New Testament. Before we get into it, go on ahead, hit that like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, and share this video with your friends. This is one of the most important lessons that you can ever get to really understand the culture that Jesus came from. You ready? Here we go. All right. So once upon a time, in a land far away, very long ago, a culture existed that was very different from ours. Instead of a rich class and a middle class and a poor class, like the system we're familiar with here in the United States, these people had four classes of people. The patrons, the brokers, the clients, and the expendables. You got that? Instead of a rich class, middle class, and poor class, they had four classes. The patrons, the brokers, the clients, and the expendables. Now, here's the background. We're not very familiar with anything even remotely similar to that type of uh, system. But here is what it was. There are four classes of people, like I said, the, the patrons, the brokers, the clients, and the expendables. And at the very top, the 2% at the very top, they are the patrons. Underneath them, running at about 8%, those are the brokers. In the middle, at 75% of the population, those are the clients. And the bottom 15%, they are the expendables. So who are these patrons? Who are these top 2%? Now, they own just about everything, but wealth is not what they seek. They crave honor. Now, they would be willing to go bankrupt in order to get more honor. That's how important honor was. They will buy gifts for clients and as a result, those 75% of the clients will become their exclusive client. The patrons can have as many clients as they want, but no client can have more than one patron. Each client can only have, more, have one patron. That's it. So why would a patron provide things to a client for free? Well, it's because the clients are always expected to proclaim how awesome their patron is, and that brings their patron more and more honor. You get that? Patrons want honor. They need honor, and they will actually buy things for other people so that they can get that honor. Okay, the next class are the brokers. These are the guys that eat and dress and live very well but only because their patron does that for them. Typically, they have special skills which bring honor to their patron. Again, it's all about honor. Some of those skills might be uh, an artist. They might be a doctor. They might be a lawyer. Um, Luke would have been a broker. He would have been a part of a, a patron's inner circle that, he, that was kept on staff for the patron because he brings honor to the patron. The next class are the clients. Now these are the poor day laborers. They seek that one patron who will take care of them by providing them with gifts that they do not have to pay back. Gifts that they don't even have to earn. In fact, it's gifts that they could never even think of paying back because they're so elaborate. Now what kind of elaborate gifts are they? things that we don't think are elaborate. Clothing, food, housing, furnishings, building materials, medicine, a job every single day, a, a special job that they don't have to worry about not having employment for the rest of their lives. But not every client has a patron, okay? Now, they all want one, but they do not all have one. Once they have a patron, they are expected to show their loyalty to their patron by publicly praising that patron every chance they get. They will actually seek others who will switch 
patrons to their patron. And they earnestly work in appreciation for all of the gifts that their patron gives them. If the patron goes to the city, the client will drop everything and proclaim how awesome their patron is as he enters the city. If the patron goes to the market, same thing. They'll drop everything. They'll go to the market and proclaim how great their patron is. All of that brings honor to the patron. Remember, it's all about honor. The fourth class of people are the poorest of the poor people. Not worthy of having a patron um, is a mild way to put it. These are the people who would bring dishonor if someone claimed them as a client. So the patrons leave them alone. Now, what do you have to do to be expendable? Expendable people would be people who were handicapped, lame, crippled, homeless, prostitutes, drunks. They would have leprosy. They would be the lowest of the low. People who are avoided even by others in their community because they bring shame instead of honor. Okay, so that's the background. You have the four uh, classes of people, the patrons, the, the brokers, the clients, and the expendables. But there's something else you need to know. And, and this, is, this is not a made-up story. This is, this is literally from the Greco-Roman culture of the days of Jesus. And knowing about that culture will help you understand two very important words. And those words are grace and faith. So grace. Remember those free gifts that the patron would give their clients that they didn't earn or deserve? The patron would never speak of those gifts again. But the client continuously expressed how grateful they were for those gifts. They would tell everybody around them how grateful they were for the gifts. They would tell their patron continually how grateful they were for the gifts. Now that gift was called charis in the Greek. And charis is translated into an English word. That English word is grace. The free gift of grace. The second word is faith. Remember what the clients had for the patron because of the free gifts that they continued to receive? They gave the patron their unending support and loyalty. Now that patron, that that. Uh, that that expression of unending support and loyalty is something that's called pistis in the Greek. Now, what is pistis translated to in English? It's translated into faith. Now, even though it is translated into faith, a better word would probably be fidelity to the patron, being faithful to the patron. So here's the application for today. God is the ultimate patron. We are lowly and undeserving clients. And God gave the supreme gift, his son Jesus, to die for us so that we can live forever in heaven. That gift is called grace. Now we can never pay God back for that gift. We can never earn that gift. But what we do in appreciation for that gift, is to remain faithful to God and show our faith and fidelity to Him in everything that we do. We give honor to God by proclaiming to others how awesome He is, and we share with others that God has so much grace to give that they should accept Him as their patron too. Then, in heaven, we'll just live happily ever after right? But I want you to know something else about this story. Remember, God is so generous that there is no class of expendables 
in God's world. Everyone can get the grace of God, even those expendables, even those who are the lowest of the low, even those who think that they bring dishonor to God. By receiving God's grace, their lives are changed and they bring honor to God. That's pretty awesome. And knowing that the honor-shame system and the patron-client system, that is going to help you understand the New Testament so much better. Because that is how we're saved. If you found this video interesting or if you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it if you shared it with other people. And go on ahead and hit that subscribe button. That would do wonders for this channel. Ring that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time a video comes out. I appreciate you stopping by. Have a great day. Be blessed.